basic level one maneuvers, the first on the list is passing a set of knots. Okay, so we're going to get into ascent on our two lines, up past a set of knots and down past a set of knots. Uh, first things first, uh, we're going to place our backup device on our backup line. So put the ASAP on there, attached by the bit of string so you can't drop it. And then chest ascender in. Hand ascender on. Leaving the floor is always a bit tricky. So we're pulling some slack through and we're in suspension. Rope over the foot and then things should start to run. Make sure the ASAP's running freely. So I'm coming up to the knots, okay? First things first, hand ascender above, get close to the knot, put the cow's tail out of the hand ascender, clip it into the knot, do the gate up, hand ascender as high as you can, straight arm, chest ascender off, move it past the knot. Once we're past one knot, take the cow's tail out, one rope complete, now we need to move the back up. You want to take something off, you've got to put something on. Cow's tail into the back rope knot, and then ASAP off. Clipping it in so we can't drop it. Above the knot. ASAP back on. Cow's tail out of the knot, back into your hand ascender, and on we go. So we're as high as we want to be, we need to descend again, okay? So we're going to thread the descender on. Uh, this is a, an ID, an industrial descender. Uh, open it up, and then we're taking bottom rope in the bottom, top rope in the top, hold your thumb. Make sure both sides are closed, okay? And then we're locking the descender off. Next, we're going to slide the hand ascender up a little bit. It only wants to be about a foot above your chest ascender. Stand up, straight arm, plastic clip out and down, rope out, close your chest ascender, and then sit down, making sure nothing's cross-loaded. Take your hand ascender off. Foot loop away. Ready to descend. Unlock the descender. Careful that we've got the descent rope in our right hand and then we start to descend. Okay, so we've abseiled down until we've hit the knot again, okay? So we just need to go back into ascent to move past the knots. Okay, so hand the sender back out. Placing it above the knot. Foot in, stand up. Chest ascender, back on, okay? So our weight is back on our chest ascender, so we can now Take the ID off, thread it back on below the knot, taking care to lock it off. Careful not to be too far above it, otherwise your hand ascender can end up out of reach. So maybe just adjust down a little closer and then chest ascender off until we're hanging on the descender again. Descender, ascender away. Uh, and we need to now do our backup, okay? Again, if you want to take some off, you've got to put something on. Cow's tail into the knot.
ASAP off. ASAP back on again. Cast tail out. Okay, nice and easy, ready to descend again. Check you've got the right rope, unlock the descender. It's stuck in the knot, okay, and away we go. Uh, so next we're gonna have a look at a rope to rope transfer. Okay, so we're just gonna transfer from one set of ropes to another set of ropes. Quite simple really. Uh, use them for, you know, moving around under deck or maybe for even staying at the same level when when working on something that's the same horizontal plane. All right. uh, so rope to rope transfer. First thing we want to do, we want to be in descent. Okay, so descender on again. Locked off. Send us away. And then we're going to pull the new ropes across. First rope into the chest ascender. And then the next rope, alpine butterfly. The twist. Cow's tail into it. So at this point here, when we transfer across, we end up with four points. Okay. So if any point fails on the way across, we always have an independent backup from either side. If we get over, make sure we're fully across, descender off, and then back up off. Back up, back on. So we can take our extra cow's tail off. Not out if we can. So we're gonna go back into descent. So hand descender back on. Back up, back on. Locked off. The sender's away. And then descend down. Okay, so uh, next we're going to have a look at re belays. Okay, so belay is a, a termination of the ropes, um, and a re belay is just a continuation. Used these before on big long drops on, on cooling towers where you've got 50 metres re belay, another 50 metres, another 50 metres. Okay, just means there's not as much stretch in the rope when you're going up and down. So getting through them, dead easy. Up we come. Hand the sender off. Cow's tail into the belay. Gate done up. It's our extra point of attachment. Okay. I can now stand up, chest ascender off, put it on the new ropes, pull it nice and tight, and we're through. Okay, I've still got my third point, so I can now take my back up off. Making sure I'm not twisted. Put it on the new rope. Okay. Now I've got my two points again, I can take my cow's tail back out, onto the rope, and on we go.
Okay, so on the way back down, we abseil down to a level with the rebelay, and then we're going to take our short cow's tail and clip it into one of the anchors. Do the gate up. So again, we've got our extra point. We're now going to abseil onto that extra point. Take the descender off. Thread it onto the new ropes below, making sure that we're not in the loops. Pull the descender nice and tight. Lock it off. So that's our extra point. We can now take the back up off. Again, going back on the ropes below. Making sure it's all nice and neat. Okay, so we're ready to descend. We just need to take our short cast tail off. If we've been lucky enough, the rope should be just long enough to stand in. Short cow's tail out. Unlock your descender. And abseil down. Okay, so next on the lift, list is uh, aid climbing, or moving around with cow's tails in suspension. We'd use it a lot for accessing horizontal structures where we can't get above it. Uh, to rig extra ropes, okay? So, first things first. Straps around. You notice I have three strops, and then I'm going to go long cow's tail up into this one. Short cow's tail into the middle one. Chest ascender off. Third cow's tail into there, and then an extra foot loop as well. Back up off, and then it's quite simple. Feet in, move the middle strop, Sit down, move the right on strap, stand up, and the feet in the middle, nice and stable, 